as you know, we're gonna talk about value. You know, it's kind of a buzzword today, right? So, but if I were to ask you guys to define value in non-medical terms, you could probably do so, right? Say, for example, if I were to say the vacuum cleaner that you bought at Walmart the other day, do you think you got a good value for? Or maybe a towel that you bought online or something like that from, from Amazon. Could you, could you define that and could you define the value you got from it? And you probably could. If I polled the audience, we'd probably have some similar types of, of uh, definitions and explanations. But the problem is when it comes to medicine, if I were to ask people to define value, let alone demonstrate it, usually get about half the crowd, we have this kind of glazed over blank stare, and the other half gives us a hodgepodge of definitions, and sometimes they can even kind of be conflicting. So we're gonna talk about this today, but I'm gonna take a totally different bent on it than you've probably heard. It might even be a little politically incorrect, because today we're gonna to talk about the business of medicine supposedly. And so we're uh, one of the big keys, of course, when it comes to demonstrating value is obviously quality and outcome. And I would be the first to argue that's a completely clinical discussion that you as doctors could have in another setting. Today we're going to talk about the business side of things.